In a bid to ensure compliance with the provisions of the Film and Stage Plays Act Cap 222 with regard to public performance and broadcast, Kenya Film Classification Board has issued a warning to proprietors of public entertainment premises that they will be held responsible if they sanction performance that break the law. We shall not allow art to be used as a vehicle to degrade our culture or to promote indecent behavior, particularly in public places and where there is a likelihood that children are frequenting. It is the duty of such business people to ensure that their premises are not used for pornographic activities or to undermine public decency. They must ensure that children are not admitted to those performances. Kenya Film Classification Board CEO Ezekiel Motua says there is need to promote culture, positive values and standards. It is clear that there is lewd, vulgar and obscene content on our airwaves, social media, and in public places through exhibition of the content, this goes against our culture and our moral values and is a breach of the law. Muto has called on business owners, artists, parents, and guardians to be mindful of content, performances, and activities accessible by minors. The internet in Nzuri, like in Naiza, is a ribu maadili watoto. Inaweza ikawafanya wakora tu. Kama mzazi ndiye aliye nunulia mtoto wake simu. Tafadha li muongoze ya jue. Simu ni nzuri kupata information, kupata ma, 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 knowledge, kukua entertained. Na ajue ni programs gani ambazo zita msaidia. At the same time, it was urged broadcast companies to ensure they adhere to laws pertaining to the watershed period. TV and radio stations are requested to strictly adhere to the programming code and uphold self-regulation and ensure that unpalatable content is not aired during the watershed period and that content aired during the uh, period 5 in the morning to 10 is suitable for family viewing. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru. Report.